hey what's going on guys let's do this problem right here this question is asking a wire segment 1.2 meter long carries a current 3.5 ampere and is oriented as shown in the figure the positive x-axis points directly into the page right so they are saying uh, positive x-axis inside the page so this is going to be the positive x-axis and then the uniform magnetic field of magnitude 0 0.50 tesla pointing toward the negative direction is present as shown so it's coming out so inside is x positive x so it's outside of that one and this is going to be negative x and what is the magnetic force of vector on the wire segment so let's see so b is negative 0 0.5 5 tesla so this is going to be negative 0 0.5 tesla in the i direction right so this is what this means is we are not going to have force in the i direction because to find the force components we use this equation f is equal to i l cross b since since b this uh, magnetic field is in i direction if you cross it with another i you will get zero so we are not going to have force component in the i direction we are only going to have in the y direction and z direction and let's see how we can find it so to find the z direction what we had to do we had to find out the length of this wire segment in in terms of y direction and if you cross it with b that's going to give us the z direction so let's go ahead and do that so length in the y direction right l y is going to be equal to i hmm. actually length is given right here 1.2 meter we don't use i this is 1.2 meter so this is going to be 1.2 times sine 30 right so this is going to be sine 30 sine 30 is going to be the y component of this length and this is uh, negative because the this current is going in the down direction if we take the component of this one is going to be these two negative y direction and a negative z direction right so these are the components therefore if we take the vertical components this is going to be negative value right so let's calculate this one and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 0. 6 right negative 0 0.6 and this is in j direction j is y and now we can find the force in z direction fz is going to be equal to i cross lb i, cro I, I times l cross b and here i is current that is 3.5 ampere times l is negative 0 0.6 j cross magnetic field is negative 0 0.5 tesla and this these are the two things and this is in i direction right and if we find the cross product so let's say this is i j k right so if we cross j and i j and i we will get a negative k because opposite to this direction so since we have negative negative that's going to become positive and that's going to make this one positive but again we have cro we are crossing with j and i j is j and i going against it so this is going to be a negative k and you will get a negative value because negative negative positive the cross products give us negative so answer is going to be negative and if you calculate this one this is going to give you negative 1.1 k right now we have found the c component let's find the y component of the forces to find the y component of the force we have to find the z component's length that's going to be lz is equal to this is going to be now cos 30 right so this is going to be 1.2 cos 30 again the y uh, z component also negative because this is going in this current is going in this direction so the component is going to be in the negative direction so this is going to be a negative answer 
let's calculate this one and if you calculate this one you will get negative 1.039 k k is c direction and now we can go ahead and do the do the cross product f y is equal to i cross i times l cross b i is 3.5 ampere times l length is negative 1.039 k cross b is negative 0.5 i right and that's going to give us the force in the c direction i mean uh, y direction so this is going to be k cross i we are crossing k cross i that's going to be a positive j so the answer is going to be positive because negative negative positive and cross product also positive so that's going to give us a positive answer and you will get 1.8 j k cross i is going to give us j and now we can put the final answer so the final answer is going to be force magnetic uh, force is going to be equal to 1.8 j minus 1.1 k newton and that's going to be the final answer i hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time